What is the worst movie you've ever seen? No, I'm not talking about Grown Ups 2 or Transformers 2. I mean a movie so bad, so fundamentally broken, that it leaves a piss in your stomach or makes you feel frustrated and angry beyond any reasonable measure. This is a question I've been asking myself for a while, and I think it's about time to do something about it. So I've pulled up the list of the bottom 100 lowest rated movies on IMDb, and I'm going through them one by one to find the worst movie ever. Welcome to the search for the worst. You know what? It didn't even hit me how pathetically terrible this movie is until I started editing the trying to watch for this episode. People have asked me before if a piece of media has changed my perception of anything, or been a complete revelation in one way or another. And this movie certainly is a discovery of sorts, because I'm pretty sure, I think this is safe to say, I have found the worst movie ever made. This... This is the Garbage Pale Kids movie. I really had no idea what the Garbage Pale Kids were before watching this movie. It turns out they were designed as a parody of the Cabbage Patch Kids doll things. The idea, I have to admit, is kinda unique, almost clever in a few ways. Turning something innocent and childish into an edgy trading card game with horrible mutants on them seems like a great idea. I'm sure kids absolutely loved it at the time, and yes, you did hear correctly. The Garbage Pale Kids were nothing more than a trading card game. Thin pieces of card you could swap and collect. They're not particularly to my taste, especially because they all look pretty terrifying and horrible, but I can see why they were so popular. Okay, so what ideas flow through your head when you see this? Apart from, well, that's fucking disgusting, or I don't really want to see this ever again. Well, unfortunately for all of us, the only thought that was going through the fine ladies and gents over at the Atlantic Entertainment Group, the company that produced the movie, was that these horrible fucking creatures, these parodies, whose only worth is measured in the novelty of being a forgettable, silly, collectible card game, was that these things should be adapted into a movie. In fact, the Garbage Pale Kids movie is the first movie to be based on a fucking card game. Now, I consider myself a fair man. I like to look at the positive and the negative, but there is no positive I can find for this movie. And believe me, I've looked. I've thought about it long and hard. The very opening is still confusing to me. It starts with this montage of cards, much like the style of the original card game, to introduce us to the cast. Then when it gets to the actual Garbage Pail Kids, it's nearly impossible to ignore how intentionally ugly the character design is. I mean, it's terrifying enough on paper. Okay, look, I, I just need to pause this for a second, because I need to warn you. While this movie might have originally been thought out as a horror movie, at the very least that idea was thrown around originally. But this is supposed to be a kid's movie, but is unintentionally, horrifically, fucking terrifying. So if you're easily scared by creepy puppets, I'd forgive you if you close the video now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's move on. For some unexplained reason, there's some kind of space rocket garbage pail flying towards Earth. Does this mean that the garbage pail kids are aliens? Who knows? Because later on some dude says that you need a magic spell to get rid of them, like the vermin they are. You are forcing me to lay some very heavy magic on you. Which kind of clashes with the idea of aliens, unless space magic exists in this universe. Okay, whatever, who cares, let's go on with it. So this kid who's being chased as our main character, his name is Dodger. Also, this is the most 80s thing I've ever seen. <laughs> So we're introduced to this relationship that Dodger seems to have with this 25-year-old man who's supposed to be a bully or something. They're never shown to be in the same school or anything like that, so it's this fully grown adult terrorizing and assaulting a 13-year-old boy, stealing his money and then throwing him into a puddle. And this isn't even the weird part about this movie. No, please! Little baby gonna cry? After getting the shit kicked out of him, Dodger goes to this antique shop. I still can't figure out if he lives there, because I'm pretty sure that this guy who owns it is not his dad. Maybe it's his uncle or something, I don't know. But there are two reasons I can attempt to explain why this antique shop is in this movie. One, this movie's trying to go for a gremlin sort of vibe. I think. So the antique shop is pretty much a copy of that creepy place from the start of Gremlins, where he buys the Mogwai from. And secondly, they needed an excuse for some kid to interact with a space magic garbage pail, and this was probably the easiest or most cost-effective way of doing so. Next up is this really uncomfortable scene where Dodger shows around this girl he's into called Tangerine, but then her boyfriend and crew show up again and assault him again, for some unexplained, inexplicable reason. Which causes the magical garbage pail to fall off a shelf and unleash the plague of terror. But not before the fully grown men force Dodger into the sewer, assault him again, tie him to some pipes, then unleash a stream of sewage into his face, leaving him for dead. 
Did I mention that this is a kid's movie? Conveniently, the Garbage Pail Kids are available to save him, because they somehow knew he was down there? Anyway, so here we go, these are the Garbage Pail Kids. They are the most terrifying, inappropriate, abrasive, and irritating personalities I've ever witnessed in a motion picture. In fact, they are not characters. They are physical embodiments of what the filmmakers considered to be a joke. Their characters don't go any further than the name they've been assigned to them from the original cards. Like this one is a physical embodiment of a fart. That's his character. <laughs> And this one is defined by the fact that he pisses himself. Back or down, it's up to you! Oh, faithful! And he only does it because he finds it funny? Gee, I thought it was funny! Now that's a very charming and likeable trait, I have to admit. And then this one has the features of an alligator. And that's about as far as that goes. And this one is sick that one time because it said so on the card. So now that their complicated backstories are out of the way, the hijinks can begin. Please kill me now. So Dodger has to react to seeing these devil creatures for the first time, but he isn't scared or particularly affected in any major way by them. Despite how awful and scary they look, the alligator one even goes as far as to pull out this box of severed eyes, fingers, and toes? Seems pretty dark for a kid's movie. Like, he's murdered humans and put them in a box to, to have as snacks. Seriously, who thought this was a good idea? Oh, we cannot choose the way we look, but we can choose the way we behave. And this, this is the major problem with this movie. The problem, the defining thing. It's story writing 101, it's obvious how you write these things into a story. Clearly I'd prefer this to be a thing that didn't exist, but the most irritating part of this movie is that the Garbage Pail Kids themselves have no arc. They learn nothing, their personalities don't change, and if anything, they're actually more ignorant at the end than they were at the beginning. Which makes the journey that this movie takes you on even more frustrating and terrible. Because all of them are unlikable, annoying assholes in every single scene. Your characters don't necessarily need to change or learn anything by the end of the movie, like if this was a fucked up dark comedy or something where it could possibly work. But this is intended for children. It even goes as far as to treat their own audience as if they're fucking idiotic or something. They go through multiple scenes of the garbage dicks being assholes, then suddenly try to turn it around and ask you to sympathize for them. It even says on the poster, out of the garbage pail and into your heart, as if it's supposed to be charming or something. I think a kid would either find this too weird, too scary, or too boring, depending on their age. So the actual Garbage Pail Kids do nothing in the movie except the following. Each new scene with them has the one who farts do a fart, the one who pisses himself take a piss, and the one who has a runny nose do something with her snot, and so on and so fucking forth. Their existence gives this movie some kind of brand recognition so people are more likely to see it. And they're also an easy way to write themselves out of any scene. If you somehow haven't realized this already, the quality of the puppets and animatronics is astonishingly poor. In fact, it's even well known at this point that the puppet company had neither the time or money to get them finished, so they just kind of worked with what they had. That's why the alligator one always has its mouth open in the wide shots, because it wasn't finished, and they expect that you won't notice somehow. And it also explains why the eyes on this one are nearly always malfunctioning. I mean, it's fucking creepy, look at it. The Garbage Pail Kids make Dodger this gross looking gold outfit, so that when he goes back to see Tangerine again, he lies to her and says that he made the outfit, which makes her want him to make more outfits so she can sell them, because she goes to the back door of clubs and sells clothes that she makes? Seriously, out of every different story facet you could go with, they chose the whole lying to the girl you like to give them an excuse to be around you routine? Take the Garbage Pail Kids out of this movie and the main plot is virtually unaffected. It's like they found some random script lying around and awkwardly plugged in the Garbage Pail Kids because they had to make a movie. So seeing as the Garbage Pail Kids have really nothing to do in the movie, there's this fucking painfully long sequence dedicated to them that genuinely starts with one of them saying that they have no money to be able to buy food, and then another one pulls out a flick knife 
and says not to worry about it because he'll carve them out an IOU. No problem. We'll carve out an IOU. Yeah! He'll carve them out an IOU. Did they just forget that it wasn't supposed to be a horror movie anymore or what? So they steal a truck, flatten a guy's car, then sit around flaming dumpsters eating stolen food like criminals. When they get back, Dodger asks them if they want to make more outfits for him to give to the girl who's using him to make a ton of money like a bitch. And they say that they'll help him make more clothes if he helps them find their friends who are in hiding or are lost or something. If you're having trouble keeping up, I don't blame you. This is, this is fucking bizarre. Also, this entire aspect of the movie comes out of nowhere, is not really addressed again, and has no conclusion, so don't even worry about it. For absolutely no reason at all, there's this musical number that's presented like it is in a musical. They just start singing. Let's quit now, that's my advice! And they never do it again, and this movie isn't a musical. I wonder if it's because they wanted to sell records by awkwardly shoving this song into this movie for no reason. So they eventually decide to make the clothes, and Dodger leaves them alone again with a TV that they instantly break. So instead, for entertainment, they put on costumes and go out on the town in the longest and most dreadful scene yet. They randomly find some quad bikes that were conveniently there, and the majority of them go to a movie theater and just act like terrible, horrible people. Harassing, stealing, pulling out flick knives. You know, your usual cinema experience. Meanwhile, the alligator and the one who farts go to the biker bar, and... And this part is, this part is fucking unbelievable. So the alligator goes around ogling the women he finds attractive. Yes, this happens. Then proceeds to bite one of the biker's toes off. <laughs> they understandably try to kick his ass, but the one who farts storms into the scene, farts, then there's a bar fight in a movie called The Garbage Pale Kids Movie. But don't worry, kids, because the bikers are all like, oh no, they're actually pretty cool, because you might need us for later in the movie. Other than this, this entire 10 minute chunk has no point at all. No fucking point. Once they get back, for no other reason than because movie, they reaffirm the point that they need to find their friends. But then this time out of nowhere, they say they're locked up in somewhere called the State Home for the Ugly. We think they might be locked up somewhere in a really terrible place. In the state home for the ugly! Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Thanks for making me go through this again, by the way. This is fucking unbearable. Dodger and man that he knows go to the state home for the ugly. But there's this one guy there with some dogs, so they just leave. The next 20 minutes or so is an endless collection of farts, piss jokes, snot jokes, inappropriate scenes, and just completely random shit that has no fucking point until Dodger leaves them yet again to go to this fashion show that Tangerine is holding, which gives the bully characters from the beginning a chance to sneak into the antique shop, kidnap all the garbage pail kids for a reward from the home for the ugly. Dodger gets assaulted again for no reason. Then the guy who owns the antique shop appears out of nowhere and sneaks into the home for the ugly, while Dodger gets help from the bikers, who pull down the metal bars from a window so they all escape. They then decide to go back to the fashion show. They trash everything, assault multiple people, have a full fist fight, and then Dodger's arc is completed by him telling Tangerine that he doesn't like her anymore because he no longer finds her pretty. I don't think you're pretty anymore. Not because, you know, she used him and the Garbage Pail Kids effectively for slave labor while playing him like a fucking fiddle and also going behind his back when he wasn't around. And he says he doesn't want to see her again because he doesn't find her pretty anymore. <sighs> Did, did, did they miss the point entirely? Did they miss the fucking point entirely? I really did think that this was gonna end in a completely different way. So to finally bookend everything, the Garbage Pail Kids hop on the quad bikes from earlier, then ride off into the night, making the entire film pointless. No one grew as a human or changed. No lessons were learned. Oh yeah, apart from, if you don't find a girl pretty anymore, you should dump her sorry ass. I think it goes without saying that this is the worst movie ever made. It's offensive. If you consider yourself a fan of movies as an art form, or are just interested in making or writing movies, I would almost recommend this movie to you, purely because it's like a laundry list of how you should never, ever, ever, ever craft a film. Every single element is completely flawed. It lacks any sort of explanation or follow-up, and the majority of the movie is not even suitable for its own fucking demographic. This movie is like Baby Geniuses in a lot of ways, the previous worst movie I'd ever seen. Except this time it's on crystal meth, hasn't showered or shaved in six months, and is a crazed serial killer who was on the loose. That's the difference in terribleness. It's that vast. In fact, I, I think I need to apologize to Baby Geniuses. I'm, I'm sorry. I really am. I had no idea about this movie. I think I'd actually watched the original Baby Geniuses six times before I ever watched this again. Okay, well, maybe four times. Eh, uh, well... 
Okay, maybe two times. I'd watch it two times. Ah, uh, well... Okay, maybe, maybe one time. I'd watch the first Baby Geniuses one time over this. But you get the idea, it fucking sucks. A wise puppet once said to me, If you ever decide to watch the Garbage Pail Kids movie for your YouTube series, well, you're an idiot. Why would you waste your time with such, for lack of a better word, garbage? And he was right. Fuck me for watching this movie. Fuck everyone involved with making this movie. But most of all, fuck this puppet for being so fucking weird. And up next in the search of the worst is... You know what? There would probably have been a time in my life where I wouldn't be looking forward to this. But after watching the fucking Garbage Pail Kids movie, bring it on. Bring Jurassic Shark right on. So those are my thoughts on the Garbage Pail movie of fucking garbage. Kill me. So, um, this episode was sponsored by Snuggle Cuddles, who sends in this message about the movie. I like the kid in the Hawaiian shirt who farts on people. Thanks for the insight, Snuggle. So what did you think about the movie? Have you seen it before? Did you like or dislike it? Tell me whatever you're currently feeling at the moment of me saying this in the comments below. No, really, you have to do it or you, you might die. I heard there's this, like, disease spreading if you don't do that. And as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Make sure you check out some of my other videos and various social media. It's all in the fucking description if you look. I'll see you next time. Dear God, I hope I never see a movie this bad again. Bye.